This is the... <coughs> oh, God. A little bit too big of a sniff there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello everyone, Adrian here. So today I'm going to be reviewing another absinthe for you, and this one I'm particularly excited to try. Uh, first of all, still sealed up, so I've not had any prior tastings, just to make this as authentic as possible. This is Jade 1901, which comes from the Combier Distillery in France, and the owner is Jade Liqueurs, who is basically the parent company that created Lucid Absinthe. The founder of Jade Liqueurs is T.A. Bro, who is a forensic chemist that helped to get the absinthe ban lifted from the United States, which I'm very excited about. That makes me so happy that we have an absinthe day in the United States because of T.A. Bro. Merci, monsieur. Merci, monsieur. We couldn't have done it without you. He basically proved to the FDA that absinthe did not have any toxic ingredients, it did not cause you to hallucinate, and he created these absinths, and they're awesome. Very gorgeous kind of uh, Art Nouveau style, um, I guess, uh, filigree leafing kind of pattern. And then there's the um, Fleur de Lis, which is the symbol that you most associate with French royalty. And this is so cool. This has a little wax seal on the top of the bottle. And oh my god, it's just gorgeous packaging. It's so cool. So this is basically trying to recreate the genuine Belle Epoque kind of absinthe that was popular before the ban. So oh god, we're gonna we're gonna freaking dig into it, man. I'm so excited. Alright, very- and I need a corkscrew. Awesome. That's fantastic. I need a corkscrew. That's great. Do you believe this is not a screw-off? <laughs> Why? Ah! Crap. Well, I need a corkscrew if we're gonna get down to it. Hopefully I don't bust the cork. If I do, that's fine. I have more corks. All right, guys, there we go. Ooh, oh my god. Oh god, that smells incredible. Holy crap. Oh my god, guys, it smells incredible. You have no idea. It smells like fresh winter air. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Moment of truth. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can watch the process. And... Oh my god, it's gorgeous. I'm so excited. Alright guys, here we go. Here is the glass of pure, straight, Jade 1901. And so we're going to do the classic preparation process with the absinthe spoon and the sugar, because this is what I do to all of my absinthe. Oh my god, guys, it smells incredible. You have no idea. Alright guys, here we go. Moment of truth. Oh my god, guys, that's beautiful. Oh my god. Gosh, look at that. Oh my god, isn't that beautiful? Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm sorry, guys. Wow. I think this may be a favorite. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so excited. Shit! Son of a bitch. It's okay, I'll just stir it up once it gets to the point that I like it. Oh 
Oh my god, guys, I am so stoked. This looks absolutely incredible. And it smells really good too, you guys have no idea. Alright, here we go. It's happening. Alright guys, moment of truth, here we go. Oh, holy hell, that smells incredible. Okay, salte, and as always, guys, dr please drink responsibly. Holy shit, that's good. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's incredible. Guys, guys, favorite. Oh my god. It even has the most pleasant tingle of the wormwood on the tongue. Oh my god. Guys, this stuff is magic. This is liquid magic. Oh my god. And just for you guys' reference here, this is 68% alcohol. <laughs> well, I mean, not after it's gone through the process of the louche here, but in its pure form, it is 68% alcohol. But, oh my god, this is absolutely incredible, guys. Oh. oh, that is incredible. And it goes down so smoothly. Oh. It goes down so smoothly, holy shit. And it smells incredible. So, this is definitely the best absinthe I have ever had. I'm not even joking. Okay, so let me tell you guys why. It has a perfect balance of all the flavors that you would expect with the absinthe. It's not too pepperminty, it doesn't have too much fennel or too much wormwood, it doesn't have too much anise, certainly doesn't have too much anise. It's perfect, just the way it is. Oh god. Oh man, this is just incredible. And then again, after you swallow it, you get that pleasant, like, wormwoody kind of tingle on the tongue. Oh god. And like I said, it goes down so smoothly. And I would note, by the way, that this is not artificially colored and it doesn't have any added sugars or anything like that before you actually start the process. So in its pure form, it's pretty much all natural. <laughs> so um, kind of to give you guys a heads up, this is rather pricey. So every bottle of jade liqueurs, like all of them, is about a hundred dollars on MaisonAbsinthe.com. So, bit of an ouch, but it's worth it. <laughs> it's, oh my god, it's really, really good. You guys, that is killer. That is absolutely killer. I love it. That is definitely my favorite absinthe. That just knocked everyone I've ever had before and just nailed it to the top. Oh my god. Woo! I feel fantastic. Oh god, I'm starting to get that little buzz. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Jade 1901, and I will leave a link to Jade Liqueur's website down in the description below, and all of that fun stuff for you to explore for yourself. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more videos on 19th century gothic stuff, because shit rocks. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. Bye! I'm not even drunk yet. <laughs> Pardon.